Hey everyone, welcome to the Spider Jelly channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some Dark Souls 3 PvP action. This was my first time getting invaded in Dark Souls 3. I do love playing Dark Souls PvP and Bloodborne's PvP for that matter. And I was really excited when I got invaded. Now the thing about this invader was he wouldn't fight us. He just wanted to pull us into enemies, especially this night at the end of the room. But we weren't going to let that happen. You can see here that he just keeps on kind of wandering around trying to poke us down, but uh, he doesn't have much success. What ends up happening is he runs away, and he keeps running away, and he hides a lot. But right after this invasion, I get invaded again. And that's what makes this fight so interesting, is because the second fight, I have no Estus. So right here he succeeds in getting us to aggro that black knight at the end of the room. So I tell my friend, hey you fight the knight, I'll fight the invader, no problem. But the problem is, I can't fight the invader when all he wants to do is run away. At this point he runs out of Estus and he runs out of the room that we're in. Here I try to bait him into some attacks using my bow. Uh, I learned that from Peeve Peverson. He's a great Twitch streamer. He's an amazing Dark Souls player. Uh, he, he does that a lot. He'll, he'll uh, bait new players into attacking by pulling out the bow. Don't have to shoot it. Just pull an arrow back or act like you're going to shoot it. And they'll usually run towards you. So he runs away again here. And you can see if you can spot him before I spot him. He's hiding. Yeah, in the bush. I barely noticed him, to be honest. And so he runs away again, but my friend's too aggressive for him. He, he follows him up there, takes him out with, with a easy hit. Two easy hits, I guess. But right here, after he dies, well, I get stuck in this corner for a second and my friend has to save me. But other than that, we get invaded again by Dark Spirit Londor Pale Shade. I didn't know at the time, but this is an NPC invader. It's a planned invasion. It's part of a quest line from an NPC. I don't want to spoil the details to the quest line. And also, I don't know all the details to the quest line, so I won't try to cover that here. But I was very upset and very scared. I have no Estus, and this guy's on me. <laughs> so my friend, I'm yelling at him over the microphone. I'm like, get down here and help me. But he doesn't have any Estus either, and if he does, I think he might have one Estus vial. But he's tanking those spells, and <laughs> I try to help out with some chip damage, but it doesn't really do much. So I back up. I'm like, maybe I can heal. Maybe I can use an ember. But I'm already kindled. Can't use an ember. So I run in. I see my friend is dead. <laughs> I run in with a running attack and try and follow it up with an R1. But those claws, the attack speed on those things is ridiculous. He kills me easy. So I come back. Try and kill him again. My friend's gone to bed at this point. He kills me several times. I didn't put all of them in here, but I put one of more of them. Just to emphasize that this guy is not easy to fight. He doesn't heal like a normal uh, invader would, but he does have a huge health pool and his damage is massive. I don't know if I was under leveled for this area, uh, if my armor just wasn't that great, but uh, he was pumping out damage really fast. When you kill this uh, NPC invader, you get the mannequin claws, which is cool. I might actually end up using them on this character that I'm playing with because the build I want to go for is kind of a dexterity build. So uh, this next fight, there's not much to commentate. This character that I'm fighting, uh, or this player that I'm fighting, he, he was probably a newer player. He did pretty good. Um, one thing I will say is that uh, in the last fight and in this fight, and I think in uh, another invasion after this, there is uh, uh, several parries that I don't repost on. I've got to work on landing the repost. For some reason, I'll parry and then my instinct is to dodge away because I expect that I'm not going to, to actually parry the attack. So, 
I've got to work on parrying and then following up with a repost. But I'm not really worried um, about that because I'm not going to focus on PvP until after I beat the game. But me and my friend were co-oping, so we ran into some invaders and I summoned this guy. So I thought it would be fun to just go ahead and put up a PvP video since that's what I love about these games. So when I play multiplayer on these games, I like to play aggressively. I don't like to leave a lot of space between me and the enemy, um, which is a must have when you're using a dagger or short range weapon. I wanted to make a bow build, but it ended up not being very viable so far because I've only found a long bow and a short bow. So what I'm using is the bandit's knife. It's a dagger with pretty basic scaling it's got like a it starts with like a D in strength and dex so I'm assuming it's like a quality weapon but it has bleed damage which I really like uh, the bleed stacks up really quickly with it um, because it, it has such a fast attack rate and then on my uh, second weapon slot on my right hand I like to use the uh, I think it's the mirror great sword you get it from beating the cursed rotted great wood um, but yeah right here right around here I get a parry and I missed the repost for some reason. I just maybe wasn't centered enough. I went for it, but it didn't happen. Another thing I like to focus on when I'm PvPing is my switch up game. Um, so that's the ability to switch between weapons and spells on the fly and in between attacks to confuse your opponent. Uh, it also, you know, adds a little bit of randomness to your fighting style. So you can see in the next invasion that um, a character actually is switching between two swords, um, the, the opponent that I fight, and he, he does a good job. He confuses me. He gets an initial attack off, which we'll see in a second, but he gets an initial attack off because he has just a normal sword out, and then right as I go to attack him, he pulls out a great sword. And the great sword has a spinning attack, and so I get in, I end up getting hit by the spinning attack. And the invaders right up here, but I have a problem trying to get this host to cooperate because I want to duel the invader. The host has no Estus, so there's no point in him even getting into the fight. So I bow to this guy, and then the host decides to shoot him with an arrow, and I'm like, "Hey, stop that!" And he does it again, and I'm like, "Hey." No, really stop that. I want to fight this guy. Alright, so he's got like a some kind of broadsword out and he switches to that greatsword really quick there and uses those spinning attacks to get some cheap shots in, in my opinion. But I would do the same thing in his position. So the host, he, he runs by. I don't know what he's planning on doing. But I have two Estus flasks because I'd been helping the host through the level at this point. So I knew it was going to be a tough fight and I knew I had to play really aggressively. I couldn't let this guy heal a bunch because he can heal. He probably has more vials than me. All right, I said vials earlier and just now, but it's Estus flasks. I'm just so used to Bloodborne at this point that I want to say blood vials or Estus vials. So that was another bait attempt. I, I tried to get him with the uh, jump attack and then back step out of it. Ooh. Those jumping attacks with the uh, Farron Greatsword, I think is what he's using, are ridiculous. They're, uh, I believe, L1 attacks, and they don't require any focus points. You can parry them pretty easily, from what I understand. But I didn't need to. He, he kept on spamming them, so those are very useful and versatile attacks. But if you spam them, they're useless. So this is the final invasion for the video. And uh, it just kind of speaks for itself. This is a place 
in Dark Souls 3 where there is a, uh, a lot of in a lot of red summon signs on the ground. I actually got invaded though. I didn't summon this guy to fight. He had invaded me and I did not want to fight him, so I did heal multiple times. Wasn't a duel. But yeah, this uh, this is where you can go to PvP if you want to PvP in Dark Souls 3 because I found a ton of people PvPing in this courtyard. And it's right after the boss fight of this area. I don't want to spoil anything, but I will be uploading a video of that boss fight today, uh, the same day that this video goes up. But anyway, that's kind of all. I'm not really going to say much about this, except for that I can't land any reposts in this video, which I'm sorry for. But if you guys like this video, I'll keep on making some more. Well, I'm going to make them whether you like them or not, because I like them. But anyway, this is my first video with commentary, so I hope you did enjoy that. I've never done that before. I'm looking, on, I'm looking forward to getting some more equipment and some more resources so that I can improve the quality of my videos. So look forward to that as well. If you want to, subscribe and like this video. I know everybody says that, but why the hell not? And uh, let's die some more. Thanks for watching.